previously on Wolf Among Us. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. That you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this. And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off. Couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? <sighs> Vivian! No! I'll send someone for your body. Both of you. Face to face. The final confrontation. Let's freaking go, dude. Crooked man, you're coming with me. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? I'm doing this for Faith, because she and Lily died, and someone is gonna answer for that! Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. <laughs> Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! 
I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. The infamous trial scene in Wolf Among Us. I know, Let's go. I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... Hey, there's Prince Lawrence. Still alive. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the Crooked Man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, <laughs> you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes! What are you waiting what do you for? Have to you say for murderer! My you wife killed is Lily! She was my where the fuck do you and get what off? About you think you have the right you to just do this to you people? Said. You're a fucking crook! This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The Crooked Man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> All right. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. <laughs> Aiding and providing on, monetary support that. for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? Him being a condescending <clears throat> prick. <laughs> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one. Shut up book. about that. Bullshit! <laughs> like hell you Stop didn't. the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on with it, We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly. Stop acting even like Telltale when they Game characters. <laughs> Stop acting like Telltale Game characters. This is ridiculous. <laughs> what is the back of your shirt, Lawrence? That 80s ass design. You have the floor. <laughs> Thank you, Miss White. Let them eat cake. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel. 
lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you gonna get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is fucking bullshit! You've always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. Don't turn this around. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. Blech. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious! I know what you do to people, I've seen it firsthand! What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her! Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- Lord. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, oh, slid no. on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Hmm... Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Change the subject, Her why don't you? not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamorous. Illegally. <laughs> because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And, and what, what did they, they do? <laughs> she wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were going to burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? I know. Snow made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. <laughs> she was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. I had very good reason. <laughs> and that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you. From people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He cares about your obedience. They're right. You're all still afraid of him. Even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Yeah, we got Greenleaf.
Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie was working for you! Bigby got a confession A confession that, that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby. Well, sorry I didn't ha have history. a recorder on me. What are you talking about? Snow? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... Oh shit, he talked I his mean, way out of it. this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. What do you mean? I just mean. Of course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course! Where are you going with this? Of course! If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? She had nothing to do he with that. He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. <laughs> That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. It's, yeah. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It's simply... We have a different happened. dynamic here. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. That's I not mean, true. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you. Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Oh, this is bad. Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? We were so close to winning. <laughs> who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby! Miss White! <gasps> Marissa! Excuse me, I... yeah. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Yeah, now, now the curse is broken, you can say everything. What's she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. What? She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just shut up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found <laughs> Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to Speak be... your shit, She queen. ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now, I can finally say, you're an asshole, and I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. Don't worry, he's gonna pay for it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Let's go. Ever. Let's you're go. You're going to take the word of a stupid- At least five other girls will back me up on this. We, we all heard, heard you say it. it. <laughs> did you now? 
like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done Shut to you. up! What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. There been enough I don't blood care. So we get rid of him. Get get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Look. I'm making the call. Why should you- He is the only officially appointed representative here. <laughs> right. Bigby should decide. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Everyone okay. agrees with that. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. <laughs> okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Rip his head off. <laughs> what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. Hmm. So I know lock him up turns him into a bird in a bird cage. Just kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, let's lock him up. I want to see that bird. No. Everyone, I'm not this way. Uh oh. <laughs> There you are. I hope you all remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. Finish it, Sheriff. Please, we can... S Fable Town will remember that. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. what he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes. There's a way. All right. Do it. Let's see what he let's see what she does. Epilogue time one day later. Expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. That's good shit. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look. I'm. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. <laughs> You're late. It's always Bluebeard. <laughs> Bluebeard's the only one who goes into that office. Just walks in like he owns the place.
Collins going to the farm. Fuck that pig. <laughs> no! What the fuck? I'm going. Jesus. Now, Toad, why are you go? Toad. We only have like five minutes. And carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Morning. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. That's so dumb. Come on, Colin. I'm walking, all right? Calm down. <sighs> Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. I'm just... Did they ever make a model for Glamoured Toad? Like the human toad? Did they ever make that model? Is that why, like... <laughs> they could have made the human toad so he wouldn't have to go to the farm and we would have seen it. Like, he'd be fine. He, he doesn't have to go to the farm! He would have paid for a Glamour and a... <laughs> like, I don't understand. He... He had the money, he could have gotten a glamour, he could have stayed. What is this shit, man? <laughs> it's his destiny to go to the farm, no matter what. <laughs> but with Colin, that's a choice. He could go to the farm or stay. That's a choice. That's a choice to have Colin stay or leave, but Toad can't keep him. You cannot keep Toad in Fable Town. This is Super Campbell's- Alright. Uh, I've had my rant. Fuck this shit. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. The Weevil. It's the Willow Beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. That's everybody. Colin's in the front seat, What's the passenger like seat. The farm? <laughs> I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around the wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Are you still mad at me? Would it change your mind? You got another one of those? How about a smoke for the road? One last <laughs> time? <laughs> that... That will be confiscated immediately. <laughs> Thanks, Bigby. Always a gentleman, aren't you, Bigby? It's like I threw it in the trash. <laughs> hey, we can't let you smoke I guess in I'll here. I'll see you around. Stay out of trouble, okay? If you even can. I can't make any promises. Yeah, me neither. Wow, what a charming, what a charming guy. Saying I guess goodbye. I should have kept him. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able Remove it. to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. It'd be too traumatic for me to try to take it. <laughs> Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... Oh, I, no. I had no choice. You have to understand. So Faith took You've that picture. they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Georgie didn't do mercy. You know that. He could have been reasoned with. I was counting on that. No. <laughs> Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Nerissa noticed that <laughs> I don't know what happened But that night at the club Georgie came back and told me things had changed He had to make an example of us We had committed treason And while the two of us Were sitting there As he was telling me this Faith walked in And I had to watch while Georgie Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said- I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. Ooh. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. Just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? By yeah. the fence. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. The piece of fabric. So you, you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. Yeah. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. That that stuff probably happens in real life. Just just horrible tragedies go unnoticed by the government. That's to, that's definitely a real thing that happens. <laughs> I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I just... I go out there, and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. 
but they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left faith at your doorstep because I None of it matters if in the end. stood a chance against the crooked man. It was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. What hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom? They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around, Wolf. What did, what did the game mean by that by that scene? What was that trying to say? <laughs> so, oh, they're the same person. That's how you get all the theory videos on YouTube to talk about your game. <laughs> the Wolf Among Us ending explained. <laughs> Faith and Narissa theory. <laughs> uh, YouTube went nuts over that. I remember, I was there, 2014. We all saw it. <laughs> I mean, we all saw the thumbnails, but we never clicked the videos, because <laughs> why? Because why? You and 31% left Georgie to die. Oh. Oh, I guess most people kill him? Most people just end end his suffering, I guess. I just didn't want to get my hands dirty. I didn't, like, because Crooked Man would have brought that up at the trial. It's like, you killed Georgie with your bare hands, you savage. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Most people bring him back alive. Oh, imprisoning Crooked Man is half and half. Did you accept TJ's gift for snow? Who's the 1.5% not accepting that? <laughs> I'm sure it's happened, but has there ever been a telltale choice that's like 100%? Like, every, like everyone who played it picked one choice and not the other. Like, there's just no percentage difference. That, I, I don't think that's possible. I hope I've done some good here. And they don't have... They don't have a player choice for choosing to go after her or leave. Like, that's the one, like... That's what most people would be curious about. Who chose to go after her or leave her? Like, this is such a nothing choice. What were your last words to her? Before choosing to go after her or leave her? Like, the, the second to last choice is what you pick? <laughs> Join the discussion now in my comments section. <laughs> Don't go to this bullshit, go to the comments, talk about it. <laughs> Special stats. Beast, you lied to him about seeing Beauty outside the apartment. You promised her you wouldn't tell Beast. Okay. You gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment. You sent him to the farm. You took him back to the witching it. Well, you imprisoned him. You chose to smash him over the head with a bottle. You com confiscated Dee's money while he was in custody, and that went nowhere. Not even to Toad. Man, I had... I had D's money, I had Crane's money. <laughs> so much money to give to Toad for a glamour. Nothing. You left him to die, you smashed up his place. I smashed one keg. In episode two. Like, <laughs> I literally only smashed his keg out of the six other things I could have smashed. I smashed up his whole place. I destroyed the pudding and pie. <laughs> Just that one keg. That's enough to smash the place up. Oh, the wall. <laughs> you drunk with Gran after Lily's, after Lily's funeral? Yeah. The shot to the dead. <laughs> Lawrence, you went to his place first. You prevented him from dying. That's what it's all about. And, he's, and he talked his shit at the, at the trial. <laughs> that one little scene with him at the trial, that's, that's what it's for. That's all worth it. <laughs> you brought her along with you to the trip trap. You showed her Crane's photograph. Huh. 
You chose to wait for him. You accepted his beetle. You stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm. You gave him money! And that money went no- <laughs> Their faces are kind of funny. <laughs> Little toad faces. <laughs> just put- just put no bitches above TJ. <laughs> You would think one of these profiles would have at least, like, th would have three choices. Snow? Just, like, two. It can only go up to two choices. I guess it just goes to show you don't really do much for these characters in the game. Like, this, the game's pretty linear, and, like, the stuff you're allowed to do, it's within the confines of the story plot. It's... Continue. Uh, I'm going to actually let these credits play out. I'm just gonna step out. Cause I, I like I was skipping the credits for the past four episodes. I've been skipping the credits, and that seems pretty disrespectful. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let this play out. And uh... oh yeah, I was gonna put out a poll. Like, should I should I ditch the face cam? I was going to put out a poll after this episode, should I ditch the face cam or not, but feel free to comment if I should. Like, It'd be one less thing for me to edit the face cam. <laughs> let, yeah, let me know if you guys want the face cam or not. <laughs> I'd, really, I'd really appreciate the feedback. <laughs> but this was fun. This was a fun Let's Play. <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> I know I kind of I, I kind of started this let's play like uh, why am I doing this? <laughs> I kind of started this let's play like uh, why am I doing this? I'd rather be doing something else, but I stuck it through. <sighs> yeah, I've been working on this for like a month-ish. Okay, I gotta I gotta step out of here. Um, enjoy the credits. <laughs> And you. Very special thanks to Bill Willingham and Mark Buckingham. Telltale Pets. Man, <laughs> the credits aren't even that long. I was talking over them. I'll probably turn off my face cam for the credits part. Like, you don't need, don't need to see me there. Continue the story in the Fables comics by Vertigo. Pick up a graphic novel today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, the, the video, the video is over.